Welcome back to Hacks Easy Hacking, where it's my mission to make cybersecurity more simple. So we're back on hackthissite.org, the website that allows you to test out your web application hacking skills. We've done missions one and two, so feel free to check out the videos on that. So today we're moving on to basic level three. So this time, Network Sam remembered to upload the password file, but the problems were deeper than that. So what could they mean by deeper than that? They always give a clue in the sort of summary that they give before you go onto the lab. Um, now, if you know about how websites are structured, or if you don't, they work like a hierarchical system so at the very top you'll have root and then you'll have directories below that with different pages so if i went to visit a website and they had an about page what you would tend to see is https that's the protocol colon forward slash forward slash website.com that's the primary domain or the root of the domain and then forward slash about and that would be a sub directory or a sub file or something other than the root so it would be deeper down the hierarchical system down the file system so in order to solve this challenge we need to look at the source code or guess as to where the password file would be now on most browsers again you can view the page source by right clicking it and selecting view page source on safari you can do command option u and that will bring up developer console then you can do command f and search for password and as you can see in the source here it's talking about the password and then you have the current path which is missions basic three index.php and then it's going to post so whatever you submit in there submit in a post and then it will check it and now it's saying that it's going to post to password.php so in order to view that, we can jump on here and just put forward slash password dot PHP in the URL. And that has loaded a PHP page. And as you can see there in the developer console, it has given us the password. So all we need to do is go back and try and submit that. And we have successfully completed the lab. So my thoughts on this challenge, again, um, it's, it's a good challenge that teaches you a lesson about securing your files, making sure that important files aren't readable, not allowing directory listings, not having a system that stores a password in a file where you can easily access and read it, um, ensuring that you minimize information disclosure on your web applications as much as possible. I realize you need to put email addresses in there for contacts, but you need to err on the edge of caution there because if you give out valid credentials or credentials that can be used to log into the application, then a malicious actor already has a username. Then they can just load their word list into Burp Suite or into Hydra and brute force the application. So to me, this lab is, is mainly about minimizing information disclosure and just being sensible with your directory listings and file and folder permissions. I hope you like the video. If you do, feel free to give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe and tune in next time for part four, where we'll be doing basic challenge number four. Thank you. Bye.